to demonstrate how to test DC armatures utilizing the AWA and the ATF-02 to do a span test on DC armatures. When performing, uh, the, when performing DC testing of armatures, we need to go into the surge screen and perform these tests manually. And the way we do this is we move down to the surge, uh, the surge button here. And in the surge, we can, if you look to the right, you will see the voltage. If you click on this button, it'll take you into the uh, manual test screen for, uh, to, to search test manually. And this is where we want to search test uh, use, utilizing the span testing. First thing we'll do is we'll set the voltage that we want to obtain, which is 2,000 volts. Uh, the step voltage, the pulses, this is really not of any interest for doing span testing. Uh, the volts per division, seconds per division, you can just leave these on auto. That way it will scale automatically on the voltage and the microseconds per division. Over here is, the set, uh, is where we set the pass-fail tolerances. Uh, we turn on the line-to-line, -line, turn off the pulse-to-pulse, -pulse, turn off the zero crossing, and most of the time you're going to turn off the uh, reference EAR as well. Once we run the first test, we will then engage the zero start override, and that will make it so that you do not have to manually ramp up the voltage every time that you want to test another series of bars on the armature. Um, software set uh, to the parameters that we want. Uh, we will utilize the manual functions on the AWA to perform the surge test. We have the voltage ramp rate here. We have lead one to surge down lead one. Uh, of course, lead two would surge down lead two, and surge, uh, lead three would surge down lead three. We will also be using the ATF-02 to perform the span test. We have a wing nut here that we will loosen up and we can open and close depending on the width of the bars. So the first thing we want to do is we want to, we want to span across four bars. So we count across four bars, get our span set, and then tighten up the wing nut. So now we have four bars uh, spanned. Then we take, connect the leads, we're going to take the ground to the black, and we're going to take lead one and connect to the red. Then what we'll do is we will set across four bars, and what we do is we have to turn the, the voltage knob all the way to the minimum. Press lead one, and then slowly ramp up in the voltage till we obtain the 2,000 volts. 2,000 volts. We have our waveform on the screen. Then we will take lead two, take lead one off, and connect lead two. Connect lead 2 to the ATF-02 fixture. Then we can span across the next set of four bars. And this time, we don't press lead 1. Oh, let me back up a second. Then what we need to do is press the zero start interlock override. And brings up a, uh, a warning here saying that you are removing the zero start interlock. So whenever you press the button, you will automatically receive the voltage that you set. So in this case, we set it at 2,000 volts. So I'm going to say yes, I agree to that. 
set my probe across the next set of four bars, hit lead two, and then you will see the waveform. The first blue one is the reference waveform, and the second one is the, uh, is the next set of bars.